Hello stamping fans, it's Laura Zaraza with laurazstamps.com and today we're going to be making a mouse trap, an altered mouse trap used as a clip. And as you can see here you can pull out your piece, uh, put a little note or whatever the case may be. On um, this one I did it with both magnets and a hanging strip. And so we're going to show you how to make this. So let's get started. We're going to start out with Yes, the lowly mousetrap. And you need some pliers, and it's, it's easy, so trust me. No wonder these don't always catch the mice. Okay, so here we go. You're just going to pull out some pieces. So you're going to pull out this little guy here. And pull out this one. And just kind of grab it and pull back and forth. Some of them are easier than others. This one does not want to come out. There we are. Um, and then this guy. Alright, so you have a pile of things here. Alright, so now we're going to get started here in decorating. I'm going to use some of my Tombow liquid glue. And I'm using the paper Soho Subway. I really like this. So I'm making sort of a like a grungy um, type of vintage, uh, just kind of a cool looking clip. Make it look interesting. And we're going to take some glue. And just kind of place that on there. Now I am going to take this little clip here and I'm going to pull it up, hopefully, just enough so that I can get my paper underneath. Sometimes you have to do it a couple of times. If you have a helper, awesome. And in this case, not so much because I'm filming this video late at night. There we go. Let it go. And you can move it a little bit. There we go. If you need to, you can always add more glue underneath just on the edges. And then on this side, I'm just going to add this. And this side is very easy. Just don't get your fingers caught. It's not fun getting snapped. Everybody's got to try it, I guess, once. <laughs> Here we go. Here we are. Now, for the edges, you can certainly paint these ahead of time if you want, um, or do up the edges, or leave them plain. I've done that. You can also take a dauber, and just take your ink, and you can just rub the edges and kind of give it a smoky looking look to it here. Again, vintage. You want it to make it look older than it is. Alright. There we go. Just kind of mush down your pages here. You can certainly roughen up the edges. My original one that I had done, that I showed on my blog, I roughened up the edges. Just kind of gave it a, you know, you can use, um, we have a tool, distressing tool, or you can use some, uh, I'm trying to think here, sandpaper, whatever the case may be, you can roughen up the edges. And that's what I did on this particular one. Um, on this one I just left it plain and so that's what we're going to do with this one. I'm making the video um, because a couple of my guests were not able to make it so I'm making their projects right now. So here's the front piece. Now we're going to turn it over and we're going to use some baked brown sugar. Ooh, look at this. Stretchy ribbon. Love it. Now to keep... Normally I would use this for all my paper items and projects. I'm going to be using some thicker gel glue back side because 
I want this to really hold. And I'm just going to add a whole bunch of it right at the top here. So I'm going to add a the ribbon right up here. So I want it to not only magnetize, but I want it to hang in case we want to use that. Gives an interesting look. And just add a little bit of the glue, tap it on the something wet here, a little extra. That should be enough. Okay, and then I have a strip. On this side I did the dark blue, the island indigo here. I'm just going to use this piece. Kind of interesting. And just place it on the back side here. And it's going to run around, kind of mush around. That's okay. Slip and slide with the glue. That's why you'll want this to sit for a while somewhere. Press down. Again, you can always add more glue. always have some paper toweling around, or a rag. Okay, for excess. Alright, because so we don't want it to stick to the paper. <laughs> okay, so afterward, you'll have it drying for a little while. You can take your magnets, and you can certainly use any kind of magnets. I just happen to have some that are probably from your local big box store. And peel off the sticky adhesive thicker piece there. There we go. And the second one. Alright, press down again. And that should be good. Let them dry. Now we're going to do the flower part. Now I've already punched out my flowers with the Soho Subway papers and I used the two um, flower punches. We got the flower shop punch. And so I just used two of them. You can certainly use scallop circles. And I cut out one here that I'm just going to crinkle. Punched out, excuse me. And this will be my main piece to hide a little rubber piece that just seemed to go missing. Okay. Well, we're just going to cut out a piece again. I'm using a piece of uh, the rubber stamps that you use for the wood and then there's extra left over. See, there's a reason why you keep this. And I'm just going to take a piece. Okay, good enough for me. Because you want to add the height because you want it something to sit up. So you can see right there how I have it hidden in there. Excellent. All right. So now just peel off. You'll have your height here. Just place it on there. Okay, now I'm going to add the sticky glue again, this real thick gel glue. Again, you can find this at any big box store. Now I'm going to take this piece. I've already distressed it, broke up some papers. I'm using a bone folder. And I'm just going to place this on top. I'm just placing a little bit over here. You can certainly add more to hide it. I'm just doing just enough. I still like the hardware showing it off a little bit. And then these pieces, I put one, two, three together. And I've already altered them a little bit. Just kind of, again, you're just breaking up the paper fibers. And these guys I've already put together here. Move him off to the side. Okay, so now we're going to place this here. And these two guys right here. And I'm going to take our little stabbing tool here. Paper piercer. And pop it in there. I'm just using a piece of our, uh, from the clear mount uh, case for my blocks. These are the extra pieces. And this is what I use mine for. 
and just pop it in there. I'm going to use a small brad from the antique brad. I'll go with this one. Push it down. Here we are. And then just pop your flowers to the side here. All the, just kind of move them around before you attach. Okay. And just kind of fluff it up. You can actually spray a little water and scrunch and make it really really rough looking. You can absolutely do that. Me, I just kind of like a little softer look. So now I'm going to add some dimensionals. Three should be good, but you can certainly add a fourth one. And you're just going to place this on top. Press down. There you are. There's your main piece. And then for the decoration, I used Loving Thoughts, and I'm just going to use Create. There's just a little something fun. So if I'm giving it as a gift, or in this case to one of my customers who was not able to make it to my fabulous Frigid February Stamp Fest, there we are. So there we go. We have my original one here that was on my blog. So I hope you like, and I hope you will be going to the store to buy your mouse traps soon. So enjoy, and visit me at laurazstamps.com. Bye-bye.